Okay, so today we're going to be going through using variables, especially within algebra. So what is a variable? Within algebra, we use variables, or sometimes we call them pronumerals. Now, later on, there will be a slight differentiation, but at this stage, um, they both are the same thing. Now, the most common uh, variables or pronumerals we use are X or Y. That doesn't mean that we can't use others. They're just the most common that we use. We can use any letter or any symbol. And we use X or Y to represent a value. Now, the most common thing we need to do with variables is we need to complete a table of values. So let's go do an example of table of values. Let's have a look at this table of values. The X values are already given in this question, zero to four. But there's a rule underneath that says Y equals X plus two. So what we have to do is we have to go column by column and fill in the value for Y. So if we look at the first column, which is this column here, we can see x is zero. So we can simply put that into the formula and say y equals zero plus two. Now what I've done here is where the x is, I've substituted the value that's in that column there. So y equals zero plus two, zero plus two equals two. So there we've simply put the two. Now let's move on to the second column, which is this column here. Now x equals one. So y equals one plus two, which equals three, and so on, so forth. So let's continue on with the rest of that column, the rest of that row, sorry. Two plus two is four, three plus two is five, and four plus two is six. Quite a simple example. Now let's move on to another example. Here, the rule is y equals x squared. So let's start with the first column there. And the first column says that x equals one. So in order to find out y, y equals one squared. And if we do one squared, we get that the answer is one. Now let's move on to the second column, which is there. Now y equals two squared. You'll notice that I simply change the x value for whatever is given in that row, or column, sorry. So two squared equals four, 3 squared equals 9, 4 squared equals 16, and 5 squared equals 25. Let's move on to example 3. Here, our new rule is y equals x plus 2, and then divided by 2. So let's look at the first column here. The first column is 4. So y equals 4 plus 2 divided by 2. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Next one, 5 plus 2 is 7. 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. Next one, 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 divided by 2 is 4. Next one, 7 plus 2 is 9. 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. And 8 plus 2 is 10. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we're simply substituting the x value there for whatever row that was, whatever column we're doing. Let's do our final example where the rule is y equals 2x. Now in algebra, when we write 2x, this is the same as 2 times x. So whatever x is, we put a multiplication of 2 there. So let's go through the first one. The first column there says x equals minus 3. So y equals 2 times minus 3. And we know that 2 times 3 is 6, and a positive and negative multiplied together give you a negative. So this is negative 6. 2 times 2 is 4. A positive and negative multiplied together give you a negative. So that's negative 4. 2 times 1 is 2. A positive and negative give you a negative. So that's negative 2. And 2 times 0 is 0. So that is how we use variables to complete a table of values.